Teachers family. Good morning to you. How you doing? Are you blessed? Are you healed? Are you free? Are you saved? Ooh, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I know you're saved out there. Hallelujah. Hey, at least I hope you are anyhow. When I right. say that, I'm talking I'm talking to maybe there might be one of you out there. We're out, Dan and I are always looking for the one. That's right. And uh, it might be you. You're out there and you're just flipping through your phone. Hey, what's this? Hey, we're looking for one person who's not saved. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I'm telling you, my friend, yes. you need to turn that around. Right. And I'm telling you, you need to get rid of your doubt and get rid of your unbelief. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, somebody lied to you when they yeah. told you there is no God. I'm telling you, uh, there is. There are, that's right, there is a God. That's a, that's right. And I'm telling Horrible you, God. You, need, <laughs> you need to change your belief system around. Yeah. You need to believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for the forgiveness of your sins. Amen. You need to believe that God rose him from the dead on the third day so that you could have eternal life with him. That's an eternal gift freely given Yes. for each and every one of us on yes. this planet. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, everyone, and I'm telling you, you need to believe those two things. Then there's going to be a confession made. You're going to confess to God that you're a sinner. You may as well get that over with. Right. All right? Because yeah. we have all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. Amen. So you're going to confess it and you say, God, my life is a mess. Jesus, I need you to be my Lord and Savior. Will you come into my life? And Jesus will step into your life and he'll change you from the inside out. And I'm telling you, my friend, your life will never be the same. And you'll look back at your old life and wonder what you were thinking. Amen. And I'm telling you, it, 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 it'll change your life forever. If you let Jesus into your heart, he will change your life. Amen. If you are looking for a church out there. I'm telling you, Res Life Church, St. Louis, Michigan, is an awesome church to attend. I'm yes. telling you, our awesome pastor out yes. there. Yes, amen. Listen, yes. Pastor Rick Lopez and his yes. wife, Diane, uh, yes. awesome, all right? We'll speak the truth to you, nothing but the truth, amen? Mm -hmm. Listen, all the people amen. out there going there, I'm telling you, uh, we'll love on you. You're going to feel the love of God. You're going to feel the presence of God in that place, and it, I'm telling you, that. The, your search for a church will be over. That's right. Amen. Yes. Amen. Welcome to this morning's 714. Yes. First, I want to say thank you to Pastor for the the, uh, the assignment. Yes. Thank All you, right. Pastor. All right. Yes. Loving it. Yes. And loving the 714. Now, to, to you listeners out there mm -hmm. uh, asking the question, well, what exactly is the 714? Uh, I want to share a little something with you out of God's Word, if I may. All right. Amen. And we're, we're looking at Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And it goes something like this. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, it's all about prayer, all right? It's all about seeking God's face. And it says this, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Yes. Then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. So that's what the 714 is truly about. It's about prayer. It's about seeking God's face. It's about repentance. That's right. It's about turning away from your wicked ways. Your worldly about, ways. Your worldly ways. It's about humbling <laughs> wicked, yourself. Worldly. Yeah. Did I say wicked? No. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. So listen, that's that's what we're called here to do. And that's I'm so right. thankful that, uh, that we can uh, share God's word with God's people. And that's Amen. who we're talking to. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. What are we looking at uh, today, Deanna? Well, today tearing up our Bibles. Day 39, people of God. I mean, it's going by fast, isn't wow, it? Wow, 39 days. 39 days Woo! into tearing up our Bible. And that, the scripture that I picked was Acts 14, 21, and 22. Did you want me to read that? I, I got that right here up on okay, this cool. in, in the New Living's Translation. I love this. After preaching the good news. Woo! Hallelujah. And Darby, uh, and making many disciples, Paul and Barnabas returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch of uh, Pisidia, uh, where they strengthened the believers. Hallelujah, how many know we need strengthened? All right. right. They encouraged them into continuing faith, reminding them that we must suffer many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. Well, the first part was awesome, but then what about that last part? Reminding them that we must suffer. Many hardships. Yeah. Well, that's what we're going to be speaking about today. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're speaking about God's word, and uh, I got a, I got a song for you too later on. Yeah. Amen. 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 Listen, people, of God. Paul taught us peace, joy of the kingdom, and its power. 
And that power that he taught us was also for us to overcome the negative circumstances, the evil one on. that causes us to uh, to have those trials right. in um, tribulations. Absolutely. You know, yeah. I want to say that God never said that. He gives us victory. <laughs> we have victory. Always. Yes. That always. God never said it was going to be a, a, a walk in the park here. That's right. Amen. That's right. We're going to experience those trials, no, sufferings. It's, it's, it's really just the way it is, people of God. As long as you live on this earth. And it's not always going to be instant victory. All right, Sometimes we have to go through some stuff. Right on. But people of God, as you're going through it, may you also realize that the sun is shining on the other part on the other end of that. Amen. There we is victory. Always. Yes. Always victory. Amen. Always. Amen. We can depend on God for that. And his word and his promises right. are yes. And his promises are amen. That's right. Amen. And he, he will amen. see us through and to the other side. That's right. Amen. He will. Yep. Amen. God didn't, he didn't promise us without life, without the struggles. That's he truth. did not promise that. That's true. But victory comes through battles. Come on. And triumph only comes through, through trials. trials. That's truth. That's, That's right, it. people of God. Amen. Yep. And we cannot have a weak view of God's truth and his word, people of God. Or nor, nor at the same time, people of God, nor should we surrender to negative circumstances that come our way. Right, because they're going to come. That's right. They're going to come. And we don't, but we don't But we have surrender. authority. Hey! We, we surrender to God, but yeah. we don't surrender to the enemy <laughs> and the on. circumstances. That's good. But we surrender to God. And what his word says, Amen. how we're overcomers, yes. more than conquerors. Yes! Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, trials are truly, they are unavoidable. That's right. Avoidable. And Je That's Jesus right. says that you will, will have, have sufferings. Suffering. That's, That's right. True. He will. That's right. But here's the good news. That's right. He also said, we are overcomers. Because he overcame he the overcame. world. He did. He overcame the world. That's right. And because of that promise, amen. He to gives us. us. To us, he gives us victory. Yeah. Amen. He gives us Provision when needed. That's right. Amen. Strength for the day. Hey! And healing and comfort. <laughs> and saving help, people Amen. of God. Amen. So, you, Steve's going to sing the song, and then we're going to pray for you guys. Amen. Whoever, whatever you're going through, I don't care what it, what it is. If it's a healing that you oh, need, man. finances, um, a marriage, a broken marriage, or relationship with our kids that aren't right, we're going to pray for victory for you.
Somebody say Halloween. Not good news. I want to share real, real quick with you people of God is this. It's in Isaiah 43, 2, what this song is talking about and what our message this, this morning is Thank about you, here. It says this, when you pass through the waters, I'll be with you, and through yes. the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Hallelujah. You stand on that, people of God. You Absolutely. stand on That's that. That's the word we can stand on. And I pray right now, may the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of God of Jacob Ooh, defend you. you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. Yes. May he remember <laughs> all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifices. Yes. May he grant you according to your heart's desire yes. and fulfill yes. all yes. your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation in Thank the name you, of our God. We will set up banners. May, God, may the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Hallelujah. Thank you, people of God. Listen, Listen, don't forget to pray for our pastor absolutely. on vacation. You keep them lifted up, okay? Absolutely. And we miss you, Pastor and absolutely. Diane. All right, you guys, we love you, and we're going to see you tomorrow, tomorrow morning. morning. Have a great day ever. All right, peace. Peace. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Listen.